Hey guys, what's up? It's Rachel back with another video and in today's video I have a huge Ulta haul to share with you guys. So I haven't done an Ulta haul it seems like here in a little bit but there's a lot of new products and fragrances that I wanted to pick up and try out for you guys. So I don't have any updates in this video. I'm just going to go ahead and get started but before I do if you guys are new here welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you'd like you can hit that subscribe button and you can also hit that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. But other than that let's go ahead and get started with a haul. If you can hear my husband in the background, he's playing his game and he gets really upset. So you hear screaming, that's what it is. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start off with the fragrances that I had to talk about. I picked up four fragrances. So we will go ahead and talk about, let's just talk about this one. This one is not a newer release and I do have some newer releases to talk about, but this one is from Carolina Herrera and this is the glam version, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, this is the glam version. So this is what it looks like. If you you guys know me and fragrances I always get the full-size bottles because I think the bottles are beautiful and I like to display them as well this is what the bottle looks like it's absolutely stunning in the fragrance I do like it it has notes of cherry in it and I love cherry scents I really do like I haven't found the best cherry scent and I'm on the hunt for it but I think I like my other Carolina Herrera fragrance better but this one is good and I am glad to have it in my collection and I always love her bottles I think they're beautiful so this is the first fragrance that I had to pick up. This one isn't newer. I wouldn't say it's really old. It's just something that I didn't have in my collection and I wanted to pick it up. So here is a close-up of the bottle if you guys are curious, which I'm sure you guys have probably seen this before. So the next fragrance that I have to talk about is, again, another full size. This is from Gucci, and this is the Gucci Flora. So this is the first edition. I never did pick this one up. I always smelled it in store, and I did like the smell. I just never picked it up. I just thought since I'm on the perfume kick right now, I'd go ahead and grab it. It is quite pricey. All of these are quite pricey. I don't know. I just had the urge to pick it up, so I went ahead. This is a really popular fragrance, and a lot of people really do enjoy this. I love the bottle. I think it's beautiful. This is what the back looks like if you guys are curious. But this is their first one. But along with that, if you guys have seen it, they have came out with a second version of the Gucci Flora. So this is what it looks like. Super pretty. Love the packaging. I actually feel like I prefer this one over the first one. I've heard some people say that they don't like this one as good as the first one or they just don't like it at all. But I really do like it and I love the packaging on it. It's so beautiful. So this is what it looks like. Really Really, really pretty. The last fragrance that I have to share with you guys in this video is from Marc Jacobs. This is their new Daisy perfume. So this is what it looks like. I love the packaging. This one definitely looks like a summer launch to me. This one has notes. I don't know all the notes in it, but I know it smells real fruity. So I looked online to see what was in it and it said that there's mango in it and I definitely smell that. So this is a really pretty summer scent. I'm not obsessed with it. I might want to lie to you guys, but it is nice and I know everybody's taste in perfumes are different. So I just recommend if you see something that catches your eye in this video, definitely go in store and test it out before you buy it. Unless you're just like me and you love to collect the pretty bottles. But this is a nice summer scent. It's just not my favorite, but it is really, really pretty. Since we're on the topic of like perfumes, I'll go ahead and share this. So I picked up a body butter and this is from the body shop. I'm almost finished with my other body butter from the body shop and I love it so much. It's like called almond milk or something. And when I saw this one, I had to pick it up. I think it's limited edition but this is the vanilla pumpkin one so this is what it looks like I just love this texture you can definitely see when I open it up it has a really nice texture to it so I'm so excited to use this one now my other body butter that I have from the body shop it doesn't look like this so I'm thinking this one is going to be yeah this one's definitely different I dipped my finger in it Smells so good, vanilla pumpkin. I will say this, it's really light on the fragrance. Like, it's not overpowering at all. So, if you're someone, you're really sensitive to scents. And you tend to get headaches. I don't feel like you'd get a headache. If you like this scent, Vanilla Pumpkin, it's really light. So I love the texture of this, by the way. I just put it on my arm. Really excited to have this. And I think this is just one of their fall scents that they have brought out. Really, really nice. Really excited to have this. I love the texture of this. Moving on to the makeup products. So I have one, two, three. I have four eyeshadow palettes to share with you guys. I feel like I was kind of behind on eyeshadow palette releases. The first one that I had to share with you guys is the new Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. 
palette. So this is what it looks like. It's really pretty and I do like this packaging. It has like that wood look to it. And they've strayed away from their velvet packaging which I enjoy because that velvet packaging just gets so dirty so fast. So I really like this. I noticed on their Primrose palette. I love that palette by the way. They switched up the packaging. It didn't have the velvet as well. So this is what the outer packaging looks like. It's really really pretty and then when you open it up I'm obsessed with this shade that I think it's called Lily. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not but this palette just looks so pretty and I'm so excited because I love the formula of Anastasia shadows and I just feel like they just went crazy with the palette releases and they really slowed down and I feel like it's paying off because this palette along with the Primrose palette is absolutely stunning. This shade right here is the one I was talking about by the way. It has different like colors in it. It almost has like a bluey pink sparkle in it. Really really pretty. These mattes are really pretty. I think this is a really pretty fall release. So really excited to play with this. I feel like their shadows, the Primrose palette and this, I just, I don't know. I just feel like they're going in the right direction when it comes to their eyeshadow palettes. The next palette I have here to share with you guys is from Too Faced and this is the Better Than Chocolate palette. If you guys have been here on my channel for a while, you know I love Too Faced and I always pick up their palettes. Pretty much every release I always pick them up. So this is what the packaging it looks like it is their 10 packaging. I haven't heard the best reviews on this palette. I think it's really pretty. I don't think it's anything new for Too Faced. They tend to stay in their comfort zone when it comes to colors and they don't really switch up the formula in these palettes. The palettes aren't bad but they're not the best. At this point in time we have so much better than this but they do work well and they are pretty and I don't know there's just something about Too Faced. When they release something I have to pick it up. This is what the palette looks like. Now is this my favorite? Probably not. I'm trying to show you without it blinding you guys. It is really pretty but if I'm gonna be honest I think my favorite probably is like the gingerbread spice palette or even the cinnamon swirl. I think that's what it was called. That one's really pretty as well. I would probably go for those over this palette. I'm such a collector and with it being like their I guess this would be considered their fall release. I'm not really sure. I just felt like I had to have it because it is something I will use and I just like to collect. It is really pretty. It's just not my favorite color wise out of the ones that I have. The next palette I have is from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is a palette that I've been wanting for a while. When I saw pictures of it, it wasn't nothing special to me, but then I went into Ulta and I actually swatched it and I love the formula of it. They feel really nice. So when you look at it, you're going to think, oh, that's kind of boring, but just go and swatch it. You will see. So this is actually called the Lux Legacy. I'm pretty positive. And this was like the collab with her mom. So this is what the palette looks like. And then this is what you have going on when you open it up. Up. Lots of neutrals. This is a really pretty fall palette. Lots of mattes in here. Literally the only metallic shades that you have is this row right here. But really pretty shades and I'm telling you guys when you guys swatch these you will see. So nice and I didn't need another neutral palette whatsoever. I didn't need another eyeshadow palette in general. When I swatched it I just couldn't pass it up. The last eyeshadow palette that I had to share with you guys in this video is actually an Ulta exclusive. This is from Colourpop and this is the On The List palette. So this is what it looks like. Really cute packaging. I love Colourpop's packaging. And I have so many Colourpop palettes, but I feel like I've kind of slowed down on the Colourpop releases. Like, I don't know the last time I picked up a Colourpop palette, honestly. Literally, like I can't even remember it. I don't know. I just kind of took a break from them. But this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. It's so pretty, and I'm really excited to use this one. I love this palette, like the way it looks and the colors and stuff. This will probably be the next one that I use. So pretty. And again, this is an Ulta exclusive if you guys are curious and I just think it's really pretty. I love the colors that they put in here. Cute packaging. I've never had a problem with the Colourpop formula. I think they blend really nice. I think the metallics are really pretty on the eyes. I think they really do pop so I don't think you can go wrong with Colourpop when it comes to their eyeshadows. I think they're really really nice and I've said that here a lot here on my channel. If you guys have seen I've done like a Colourpop collection and I had to break it into like three parts I'm pretty sure. I have since added more to my collection. I don't know like I said I kind of just slowed down but this is kind of getting me back into it. I wouldn't say that I completely cut them out. That's not what I mean at all. I just slowed down a lot. And I'm kind of hoping since the new Hocus Pocus 2 movie is coming out. I'm hoping that they'll do another Hocus Pocus collection. I think that would be really fun. But if you've been here on my channel for a while. Then you know I say it all the time. The Disney collections from Colourpop are my favorite. Gonna have to check out the Colourpop website and see. I have seen some new collections and some new palette releases. But none was 
like, like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. But this one was just really pretty. I couldn't pass it up. The next thing I had to talk about is a lipstick from Too Faced. Now, they come out with their Lady Bold lipsticks, and I do have two of those in my collection. I think the formula is really, really nice. But they recently came out with those lipsticks. It's just called like the Coco Bold line. So it has a lot of chocolatey colors, really nudey, really chocolatey tones. They have cute little fun names that all has to do with chocolate. So the one that really spoke to me was called Chocolate Strawberry. And this is the packaging of the lipstick. It's really shiny. It looks exactly like their Lady Bold lipsticks. It's just this pretty brown packaging called Coco Bold because again, it's all like chocolate themed. Really love the packaging. Again, I picked up Chocolate Strawberry and it's a really pretty pinky nude. For some reason, it looks like it's peachy on camera, but it really is a pretty pink. I don't have it on today or anything, but I'm really excited to use this because I do love the formula. These are really comfortable on the lips, and you guys can see it kind of has like a little heart on it. Really, really pretty. Really excited to use this. I love these lipsticks. I can't say enough good things about them. I feel like Too Faced came out with a chocolate line of these lipsticks because it done so well. A lot of people had good things to say about the Lady Bold lipsticks, so really excited for this, and that is the color that spoke to me the most. The last things I had to talk about are also from Too Faced. So Too Faced released a new bronzer in this really pretty pink packaging. I picked up the lightest shade that they had, so this one is called Natural Chocolate. So this is what the pretty packaging looks like. Absolutely stunning. It's a really pretty pale pink. This is what it looks like and it does have that little heart. It's the same packaging as their other bronzers. It's just pink. So this is what natural chocolate looks like. Really, really pretty. I've heard a lot of people say this is a really nice bronzer. So I'm really excited to play with it. And I just couldn't pass this packaging up. It's super cute. So this is what it looks like. Now, if you guys watched my previous haul video, I was sharing that I found Chocolate Soleil Bronzer from Too Faced at Marshalls for $14.99. So I just wanted to go ahead and show that one again because I'm about to show you guys something else. So this is Chocolate Soleil. But I also went back to Marshalls and I found Sun Bunny. This is what Sun Bunny looks like. It's the exact same packaging. If you guys are going to find these bronzers at Marshalls, make sure you look at the name on the box because they all look the same packaging-wise. So this is what Sun Bunny looks like. Really, really pretty. I have tried this bronzer before and I really did like it. I just wanted to go ahead and pick it up because I didn't have a full size. And again, for the price, you can't beat it. But other than that, that is everything. That is all the products that I picked up this time around from Ulta. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I just want to thank you guys so much for being here, liking and commenting. I will be back with another video very, very soon. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. But before you go, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell below so you're notified every time I upload a video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.